Hello, this is Tim Law with Plain and Forward Coaching and Self Reliance U. Please, uh, if you have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Plain and Forward Coaching. Be very much appreciated. Remember, you, your life, your goals, your dreams, and career are all essential. Always bet on yourself. Apply a lot of combined wisdom to your life every single day. I am very, very happy to have a longtime friend of mine, Leah Allen is here with the uh, Business Marketing Gym, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her story and her background, and welcome, Leah. This is fantastic. Oh, thank you, Tim. I'm a, it's a pleasure to be here with you. So, so uh, yeah, so go ahead. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your, uh, you know, your story, your life, and, and that kind of thing, and uh, we'll roll here. Sure. Um, well, the business marketing gym is, you know, kind of my baby, uh, something I created, but my story kind of goes back quite a bit. I've been, uh, when I first met you, I think I had the office alternative and I had a secretarial service and I started that business many years ago to be able to have some flexibility in my schedule so I could um, have children. And mm -hmm. then I decided, finally, the children came after 16 years of marriage and um, I decided to homeschool them. So I started to make a shift. So my business marketing, I mean, my office alternative, I kind of slowly backed out of, and I started doing more consulting. And what I found that I was doing consulting on was marketing and um, business, helping CEOs fine tune what their message is and how to get the message out there. It was very specific. I also taught some gold mine training, which is a contact management system back in the day. I don't even know if it's still around anymore. Uh -huh. um, and um, as then I decided to homeschool my children. Life took a turn. I had a child that became ill. Um, all kinds of stuff happened. You know how life is. And sure. um, I decided to homeschool them. And as I was homeschooling them, I was still maintaining a client or two, I was kind of juggling it. I did less work in the beginning. And as the kids got more and more independent, I started picking up more clients. And now my boys are 21 and 18, which is hard to believe. Oh, and that is amazing. I, yeah. <laughs> I, it's crazy. Um, so I, I think you remember when my boys were little. So sure. um, I now homes, I don't have to homeschool them. They've homeschooled themselves. They're taking care of themselves. They're, they're lifelong learners. And now I am back again, launching the business marketing gym. I'm still doing get clients now training, which I love to do. And I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching, helping clients figure out what their marketing message is and how to get the word out there. Well, that sounds, that sounds great, Leah. Um, what would, um, obviously, you, you know, you're, have I have a very strong entrepreneur background and you know I've got a fairly strong entrepreneur background too I've always uh, been very very interested in it uh, what would you say is is some of the biggest challenges that uh, those that people that are either starting their own business or have their own business what what do you think some of the the, the biggest challenges that you hear from them well, I hear often, and that's a great question. I hear often that it's either feast or famine. You know, my clients come to me, go one minute, I have too much work. I don't know what to do. The next minute it's all dried up and I'm trying, thinking about laying people off. And mm -hmm. um, that is kind of why I got so passionate about Get Clients Now, the training that I do for people, because I teach people how to market a little bit every day, 15 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. And that's how you keep your funnel full, because what I had found after talking to many clients was that they would market, 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 get really busy, go out networking, um, doing Internet stuff, mail, um, email campaigns. Then they get busy working because they got so, so much great feedback and so much response from their marketing that they got so busy they didn't have time to market. So they'd stop marketing and then they'd be surprised when their funnel dried up. And mm -hmm. the truth is that you need to market every single day, but it doesn't have to take up a big part of your day. So I teach people to market 15 minutes a day. And it came out of basically that one question. What was the one thing that I was hearing? It's feast or famine. And how do I solve that problem? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that certainly makes sense. And um, as far as uh, various marketing ideas or whatever, uh, what, as far as uh, encouraging people, as far as establishing that funnel, what, what kind of things, uh, what kind of advice are you giving um, 
your your context as far as the uh, you know going in these directions that uh, you know creating you know and again getting the client or customer is, is one of the most challenging things and then mm -hmm. the next two parts obviously are the frequency of the sale and then the upsell. Uh, what uh, what are you doing as far as uh, you know helping them get that those initial clients? Uh, what, what are some of the uh, the ideas that you share with them? Well, I, I basically. I like to have people work in what they feel comfortable, what their gifts are. So if somebody mm -hmm. loves to do cold calls and we come up with a cold call strategy, but that's very few people that I know that really like cold calls. Sure. So we try to find things that seem to work for them. So for example, um, I teach people to uh, follow up, follow up, the money's in the follow up. So mm -hmm. I teach people how to follow up. I teach people when to follow up. I teach people, for example, to, to cultivate referral partners. Mm -hmm. um, I think we miss the opportunity to say, hey, maybe if you are not a good fit for me or I'm not a good fit for you, but do you know somebody else who is? I think that we should always be looking for other people to help us. I teach, I, I actually have um, one mini course that I do for people who are really new or who find networking to be daunting. I teach ne a, a networking boot camp because if you can network effectively, you could be have so many leads you wouldn't know what to do with it by just going to one meeting a week or two meetings a, 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 a month, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to meet my clients where they are and fit something around their schedule. Now me, I'm old school. I love belly button to belly button networking. I mm -hmm. love talking to people and meeting with people. So I'm often out at a coffee shop having a conversation with somebody. I know some people that's just not their jam. So they would rather um, have a phone conversation or they rather just do email marketing and never talk to someone. So we just come up with a strategy that works for them. Right. So, um, I, I, I really like your idea, you know, you know, meeting people face to face is, 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 you know, it's, I don't think it's ever going to go away for some of the people that are the most effective as far as, because again, it, it creates that trust, it creates that rapport. And if somebody, all they want to do is do it, you know, via email or phone call, it's almost like you're keeping them at arm's length, you know, Correct. versus, as you said, the belly to belly or face to face, um, you know, meetings and that kind of thing. I absolutely believe those are much more effective and I absolutely uh, think that that's, that is the, the best way to go. Um, how about um, uh, some people that you've worked with, Leah, uh, you know, don't have, don't have to be, you know, real specific, uh, but um, some of the uh, uh, successes that you've had, because I know mm -hmm. you've you, got a, a long background in this, um, you know, some of the things that have been, you know, your happiest and most satisfying um, mm. uh, clients. What's well, funny, um, I was thinking about that the other day. And then today I had a meeting with a client and it's a new kind. I typically work with service-based businesses, mm -hmm. people like yourself, coaches, consultants. Um, but recently I was hired by a homeschool mom who's starting an art business. She wants to teach art to either children or adults. Mm -hmm. And she's not entrepreneurial, like naturally. I mean, she wants to do this and so I'm not used to necessarily teaching someone how to do a product-based business. And that's what she has. She's teaching, she wants to create kits and stuff. So um, it has been such a joy to watch her, the light bulbs go off mm -hmm. as she starts to get the whole concept of everything she's doing today is setting the stage for the future. I'm having her document each class, how long it takes. She's starting to create a process. She's starting to create kits based on what she's doing. And so I guess for me, the joy is teaching people how to take what they do naturally, what they love to do mm -hmm. and document it so that they can figure out a way to package it and repurpose it later on. And I've had several clients where they've had great success. I'm also, um, I work with several entrepreneurs where all we do is brainstorming sessions because sometimes they just need somebody to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten just by us, what I'll do is set up a Zoom meeting if we can't meet in person, especially these days with everything going on, or we'll do it, I'll record our sessions when we are together because sometimes people say something that is so brilliant but we can't remember it five seconds later. I'm sure that's happened to you. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> like, man, everybody. I wish I was, I could. Um, 
So I don't want to lose that moment. So I try to record those so that later on I can give it back to them. And it's a gift that keeps on giving because they go back through the recordings and they go, oh, my gosh, I forgot about that moment. Mm -hmm. So I think those are my favorite times is when we're brainstorming and masterminding and coming up with am amazing ideas because they're working in their zone. I get them to their zone and then they just go for it. Right. Well, and, and obviously when you're referring to their zone, you're obviously referring to their passion and everything. And mm -hmm. Like I said, if you have somebody that's putting together uh, kits, you know, for, for art, that type of thing, and it's within her zone or her passion, um, there, there's a, a lot of scenarios where people, you know, they, they really want to do something, but like you say, they, they really don't have the idea of the concept as far as, you know, how, how do you go and market this? And, uh, you know, as Peter Drucker, the uh, late great uh, business guru said, the purpose of a business is, is to secure a client or a customer. And, mm -hmm. you know, and this is what you're certainly sounds like what you're what you're doing for them. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's, uh, it's I was going to say it's been powerful. And even with Internet marketing, you know, business has changed since we started our mm -hmm. businesses many years ago. So learning right. to navigate social media and create connection mm -hmm. that to me, I still believe it's about relationships, Tim. I don't think we can get around that. I don't care how you package it. And so I also love to teach people how to create relationships and let people hear your voice mm -hmm. and know who your heart. And you do that through social media. So I think that, you know, learning to navigate these new new areas, you know, is part of the process. And, and I'm helping people do that as well. Sure. Uh, Leah, what... Um... Are, are you finding an interest as far as, because uh, a lot of the things I do geared toward teens and young adults, are you finding uh, uh, teens or at least young adults that are interested in kind of being the, uh, you know, entrepreneurs as far as uh, some of the people you're, you're talking to or working with? I do. I have talked to quite a few. They're not, um, most of them are much more um, internet savvy and want to mm -hmm. do things just on the internet. Mm -hmm. So learning to navigate that. So I, yes, I have heard a lot of them. I know a lot of them want to be, have their own um, YouTube channels and presence. They're, it's more of a marketing themselves. That's what I'm seeing. They're trying to create their own niche within themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, if you had any advice for, uh, you know, for young people, teens, young adults that, uh, you know, are looking to get into their, their own business, uh, what would be some of your suggestions to them? Well, first of all, I, I highly recommend my son is both my sons are trying to start their own businesses and they're doing they're each doing their own path. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I recommend for anyone who's starting their own business, whether they're a young adult or they're an, a full flown adult like ourselves is to find mentors, to find mm -hmm. people to mastermind with, find people to, to hook on to. If you see somebody who's already successful doing something that you're doing that you want to do, then find them and try to connect with them. And even if you can't um, get to know them personally, follow them, stalk them, if you will, and mm -hmm. figure out what they're doing well. Write down the things you like, the things you don't like. The other thing I tell people is read books, listen to books. I'm an avid reader. I'm on my fifth book this uh, this year already, because mm -hmm. I believe that you need to read at least 50 books a year in mm -hmm. order to keep your game at a high level. And we should never stop learning. And I think that sometimes young adults think that when they're done with school, they're done. Mm -hmm. And I, I think there's nothing further from the truth. I haven't, I've, I keep a high level of learning going on all the time. Yeah, no, that's a great tip. And what's interesting is just yesterday I had a oh a young man that I had as a student when I was teaching up in New York, Walt Easterbrook. And it's it's so interesting that you brought up that mastermind thing. If you get a chance, check out his um, uh, interview that we did just yesterday. And he does goes into great discussion, you know, about Napoleon Hill and mm -hmm. the different books he's read, things that you you know you've uh, read and I've read years ago. But he's, he's a very high energy guy and he really, really got off on the idea of, you know, having a good mastermind group of mentors, you know, that you kind of surround yourself with. So that ties right in beautifully with, with what he was saying. Well, absolutely. Leah, Leah this has been fantastic. Any, any last uh, second tips or ideas? And, and please give your contact information uh, sure. now as well. Um, 
I can't think of anything else other than just keep at it and mm -hmm. keep plugging. Don't give up. And uh, I'm right now on the lit, reading the book, the 10 X factor talking about massive action or the 10 X rule, I think it's called by J Grant Cardone. Okay. And one thing I think people do is that they stop just short of their goal because they get tired, but you just mm -hmm. got to keep pushing. It, mm -hmm. It's right there. That it's consistency that's going to get you there. Yeah. And as far as just how to reach me, it's Leah Allen, L-I-A-A-L-L-E-N at leahallen.com. So it's Leah at leahallen.com is my uh, email. My website is leahallen.com. And um, I will be launching my business marketing gym. Actually, this Thursday, there's an, a free intro session. Um, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate it very much, Leah. If you could hang around uh, right after we're finished here, when I stop the recording, we'll, we'll chat for a minute or two, okay? okay? But this has been wonderful. Thank you so Thank very you. much. And for again, for anybody uh, watching, please uh, take a minute and sign up for my YouTube channel, Planet Forward Coaching. And thank you again, Leah. Very, very much appreciate it. No, thank you.